Yeah. Um, so then, as we said, that's your top three. Then you get a gap. Then there's the next guys up. I got quite a lot of pushback of, for putting Justin Herbert as high as number four. Um, and I think a lot of it, I don't even say, it's not even recency bias. It's just like forgetting the context. Like, yeah, Justin Herbert isn't coming off a particularly good year. On the other hand, he tore rib cartilage last year. Now, I've never yeah. torn rib cartilage, but that sounds like it would suck if you're a quarterback. <laughs> No, it does not sound like a good time. And like I think that, that that certainly goes into it, man. And I know later on this list, because I, I read the article, you got Dak a little bit lower than um than I would have had him. And maybe we can get into that conversation if we get down to that point. But like injuries matter. Dak had a thumb injury that I what did not affect him just in the timeline in which the games he missed. Like I think it affected him probably the the entire season. Justin Herbert, I, I think those ribs were a big issue for most of the season that he played through. So right. Again, one of the most talented quarterbacks in the league, somebody who, when the light comes on, he performs at a level that is what those other three quarterbacks that we talked about can do. He gives you that type of ceiling. Now, has he been as consistent with it as those three players? No, that's probably why you would say he's at the next tier. He's at the top of the next tier. But, I, you know, you getting hate for Justin Herbert at number four, to me, that's probably simply coming from people who are trying to cape for their quarterback who might be lower than him just a few just a little bit further down the list but i mean when you watch what herbert's able to do and how he plays the quarterback position and simply the arm talent that he has it's hard to objectively say that you wouldn't have him as one of the top quarterbacks in this league i also definitely think we're going to get some answers on justin herbert this year with kellen moore there as the offensive mind now i i agree that there has been you know, a little bit of something left on the table or, or meat left on the bone with Justin Herbert. He hasn't hit the levels that those other guys have or that we've seen he's capable of hitting. You know, the the game against the Raiders, that must-win type of situation where he's threading those absurd passes on fourth and mm-hmm. nine to keep Insane. the game alive. Yeah, like some of the most ridiculous play any quarterback has had over the last few years. We know he's capable of that level, and yet... His average depth of target is really low. He skews towards that conservative end of the spectrum. And I think this year we're going to get the answer to how much of that is Herbert. Like inherently, he just wants to play a little bit more tight, a little bit more conservative until he has to. And how much has been the offense kind of forcing him in that direction over the last few years. Um, my My intuition is it's a little bit of both, but it's been more the offense and it has been Herbert over the last few years. And if that changes this season, then I think he absolutely justifies like the fourth quarterback in this ranking. No, I, I'm, I'm with you 100%. I, same thing. I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of what we're going to see from him from the offense this year because I felt like we were going after the Chargers' offensive philosophy and their offensive play calls all the time for, you know, putting this um, – <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the uh, – what the – what the analogy for would be for it, but you're basically just tempering what he could be. And that Raiders game was basically everybody being the LeBron meme, putting their hands out like this, see, like, this is what it could be. This is, this is what we've been talking about. If you just kind of let this guy loose. And so I'm hoping we get a lot more of that this upcoming year. I hope that he's fully healthy because if he is, I think his numbers are going to be comparable to some of those guys in the top three. No, I agree. 